One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yo, my name is Shara, and I'm here to discuss fragrances in the fragrance world or in the fragrance community. I'm always a student of the game, so I thank you for joining me. So feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. So let's get into it. So today we are going to talk about YSL clones. Um, I know YSL is a very popular, prop popular fragrance in the fragrance community. Um, I currently do not own YSL Y, but I have gotten my nose on it um, in Macy's a couple of times. So I, w I am well aware of what it smells like. Will I be purchasing a bottle soon? More than likely, but currently I don't have it. But I do have two clones that actually um, represent the DNA I think extremely well. So um, I actually, um, one bottle I've had for a while now. And the second bottle, I actually um, received this yesterday, actually came in the mail. So I got a chance to actually wear both of these fragrances. So I'm gonna give you my fragrance, uh, my impression on these two uh, fragrances. Um, so actually, you know what? I'm going to flip it a little bit. The fragrance that I received in the mail yesterday was Shayak Shiyuk by Latafa, final edition. So this is the bottle. As you can see, it's all black. Fingerprint. A weird shape looking bottle, but who cares? The cap, nothing but plastic, but it does the job, sits on the top. This is the bottle and a little sticker at the bottom. The bottle is pretty heavy. Um, this is a uh, hundred mil. So let's get into it. So this one here is a fresh citrus, aromatic, fresh and spicy, herbal, musky, lavender, and woody scent. Okay. When I first sprayed this on yesterday, I said, okay, let me see if this can be compared to Fakhar Black by Latoffer. Now, if you ask me and say, okay, well, do they both smell the same? I can honestly say to you, they do, but they each have their own nuances. I would say they both have the similar DNA in each um, fragrance. So let me get you the other box. So this one right here is for Car Black by Latoffa as well. The top, I threw away the top because it kept on coming off. It was unnecessary. So we have two. So you may ask me, hey, Shara, but which one comes closer to YSLY? Well, like I said, I'm a student of the game. This is just my opinion. For Car, this is also 100 mil, is aromatic, woody, Fresh, spicy, amber, fruity, warm, spicy, herbal, citrus, and green. They are, they are both fantastic fragrances. Um, I have no complaints. I would say with this one, though, this one comes off a little, little more woodsy, a little more, um, how can I say, more deeper. It has a deeper undertone to for car. So what I did was I actually sprayed Shaik Shayuk on one hand. And you definitely still get that bummy bubblegum uh scent right off the top. And then I actually spray, sprayed for car on this hand. And to be honest, they both have that bubblegum DNA. They both have that citrusy DNA. They both have that aromatic blue fragrance DNA. These two are pretty good. Now, this is what's interesting. This one here for car, even though it does have the bubby gum, bubble gum scent to it, you still get the sense of the muskiness 
uh, the fruitiness, the amber, the spiciness. Right off the top, this is a really good fragrance. Now, like I said, I've had this bottle for a while, so I've worn it a couple of times. Now, Shaik, Shayuk, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. I'm only human. This one here, man, I'll tell you, honestly, this is a slight difference in this one, in Shayik, Shayuk, than it is in Fakar. But these two, if you're looking for a YSL uh, impression and you don't want to spend the large amount of money on buying the original or the OG, put your hands on either one of these, okay? So, Shayik, Shayuk, okay? This definitely is a unisex fragrance. Um, I purchased, I, I actually bought this off of, uh, Amazon for $23. Um, the longevity is moderate. The sillage is moderate. Uh, compliment factors, um, I would say it is mass appealing because of that aquaticness, that freshness that this has. So a lot of people would love to smell this on you. Weather-wise, I would say all four seasons, you cannot go wrong. Say if you have to go to the store or you have a quick run or you're going on um, a, a co coffee date or you're going to like a nice little spot, you just want to grab something, you can grab this on. It's great for that too. Um, this is a great buy. Is this a blind buy worthy scent? Absolutely. I think that you will not be disappointed. And longevity, I would say, is between six to seven hours. But you can't beat that for a $23 fragrance. So, like I said, if you get your hands on this, try it out. Let me know in the comments, have you bought this yet? And what are your opinions about Shaik Shayuk by Latafa? Now, for car, I done wore this bottle out. <laughs> I think it might be about... Right, right about there. But anyway, I can always get another bottle. This one here is actually pretty good too. They both range on the same spectrum, okay? This one here is also unisex. I got this on Amazon. Um, it, it is on Amazon for about $30. The longevity also is moderate between six to seven hours. The sillage is very moderate. Compliment factor, absolutely. Again, because of the aquaticness, the greenness in this, this is definitely uh, a compliment magnet, go getter, okay? Weather as well, all four seasons, daytime, nighttime. Is this also a blind buy? Absolutely. So if you're able to get both of these and you want a y YSLY clone, definitely pick these up. I think that you guys will not be disappointed. Um, yeah, they both smell fantastic. So this is just my opinion, my impression on both of these fragrances. I just wonder, because they're both from Latafa, I see a little difference in, in, in the fragrance notes, but I wonder why they would make almost the similar scent, but just give it a different name. Like I said, they're not too far apart in fragrances. They almost smell completely the same. The only difference is this one here is more aromatic than this one. This one here is more of a freshy, airy, um, aromatic scent. This one here too, but it has some really woody, um, um, extra woody uh, lavender, musky. It's more, it's, it's more uh, muskier than this one here. Very fresh, very spicier. Very sp spicier. Is that, is that really yeah, spicier? Well, I guess that's a word. Yeah. But this one here is more spicy than this one. But they both carry the same DNA. So if you get a chance, like I said before, get your hands on this. You will not be disappointed. Both of these, you can probably pick them up on eBay or you can pick them up at Amazon, um, maybe Oud Store. It's all up to you. So here you go. Fakar. Black by Latafa and Chic Shayuk, final edition by Latafa. Y-S-L-Y dupes, clones or impressions, whatever fits your fancy, okay? So these two are hitters. Definitely get your, get, definitely check them out.
So with that being said, in the comments, let me know if you guys have purchased Shaik Shayuk Final Edition or if you have Fakar Black. I'm curious to see what your opinions are on both of these. So with that being said, I am out. But remember to believe in yourself if no one does. Le like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.